atrophy. Um, so in your hippocampus, for instance, cells will start dying off, and your hippocampus is what sort of helps, um, it actually does help, uh, your mental functions. So if you have a lot of cortisol, then you're going to start having hippocampus breakdown. Um, so you need to make sure you have everything in moderation. Um, healthy exercise, diet, all that stuff, can, uh, if you have a lot of exercise, it can actually cause to an increase in cortisol levels. But if you have a positive, like a, the right amount of exercise, which you'll need to judge for yourself, it can actually promote uh, a better mood. Um, so all these neurochemicals are actually interacting to promote general well-being if you moderate them the right way. And that's sort of what this stuff is about. Um, okay, so I can go on from there. I think I touched on everything. Um, and then brownie. Okay. So this stuff here is called uh, Bacopa monari. Um, and it's also related to Ayurvedic medicine, so that's another thing you can look into if you're interested in this stuff, Ayurvedic medicine. Um, and this is tied into Alzheimer's also. There's what's called uh, amyloid beta the deposits, and that's one of the leading causes potentially to Alzheimer's. So as this stuff breaks, uh, builds up, um, it will potentially lead to uh, a greater chance of Alzheimer's. But stuff like this takes away the deposits, or it reduces the deposits, so it can help with that. The cortisol also plays into this again, but also melatonin. So melatonin, this helps you go to sleep pretty pretty well, actually. I can vouch for this. Melatonin helps you go to sleep quite well. Um, but it also has an effect on the am am amyloid. Um, so does your circadian rhythm stuff. So. I'm just speeding up for time reasons. Okay, so the Bacopa, um, it has a whole bunch of stuff. This stuff here is another thing that's up here, which I probably won't be able to find. Um, it has lots and lots of stuff and lots of chemical effects. So you can see from just this one supplement, okay, you can see from this one supplement how many different, uh, different stuff, like chemicals are in this. So from one of these supplements, you can have a lot of different uh, small effects going on, but you can also be having uh, counteracting effects also. So once again, you need to be cautious, but you can also get a lot of benefits from this one supplement too. Eleuthero, for instance, which is this one. Um, it's also known as like Indian ginseng or Siberian ginseng. Not Siberian ginseng. Um, it plays into the blood sugar. So it reduces blood sugar levels. If you remember cortisol, it increases blood sugar levels. Um, so you have counteraction there potentially. So you can see how the blood sugar levels may help with or may cause more stress. So the eleuthero may actually end up reducing stress by reducing blood sugar levels and other effects. Um, same thing with Korean ginseng. It has an effect on the eyes, tranquilization, ease of heartbeat. All these things sort of influence the calm, which goes back into stress. And high stress levels increase cortisol, which breaks down the brain function for memory. Um, okay, so we have terrestis, which is this stuff. Um, and it's tied into DHEA, -H -E which maybe you've heard of. Um, once again, it's tied into increased hormone levels. Um, so basically, as people get older, they start to age, and their body doesn't produce as much of these hormones. So supplements like this, they actually keep the hormone levels high, which helps with, I guess, the homeostasis of your body functions. So it promotes in keeping a healthy body, um, which promotes your healthy brain function also. Okay, word of warning for your research. Research what you, if you're going to buy anything, research it well. Um, it's either going to be junk or it's going to do something. If it does something, you want to know what it does. And if something happens, it probably counteracts something else. So if you're going for one effect, make sure you don't want to, you, if you lose the other effect, it's not going to be bad for you. Um, consult with a medical professional. I'm not a doctor. Uh, don't take any of this as medical advice, except for consulting with a doctor. And the NHB is natural health products, so lots of them, you can get them. You can go get up to 90 day supply of this stuff, usually, uh, through mail order if it's not available in Canada. Uh, no more than 90 days though, otherwise customers may seize it for natural health products. So most of the stuff may not be available in Canada, but you can get it from overseas if you trust the source and whatnot. Um, so be aware it could be available without a prescription, but some do require prescriptions. So um, if you order something, it may be confiscated if you don't know, but you may also want to consult your doctor. Once again, it may not be legal in Canada. You may or may not get in trouble. It may just be taken from you, but you could also get in trouble. And yeah, the rules are complex. Um, risk of overdose is very low, but um, 
it could happen if you take a lot, I guess. Um, okay, so for references, I do have references prepared. I don't actually have them on the slide, but uh, you can contact the event organizers and I can supply them and we'll just them with a list and you can get a list from them of all the various technical details if anybody's interested. And uh, that's basically it. That's, that's it. If anyone has any quick questions, yeah. I'm more than open to feel any. Anyway, it's any. Okay. Uh, are you familiar with a chemical called taurine that gets put in a lot of uh, energy drinks alongside caffeine? I was wondering if you knew what it does. I believe it's xanthine, but I could be mistaken. Um, so I think it just it's like well, I could be mistaken. I won't say it, but uh, yeah. So it's I think it's a xanthine. I could be wrong. I know there's a lot of xanthine in the chemical products. Any other questions at all? All right, thank you.